Check it. Check, check, check. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. All right, how's everybody doing? Thank you. Thanks for coming through. Um, today, we're going to be fixing your terrible beats again uh, from the Fix My Beat channel on the Discord. This time, though, we're going to be using good old Live 12. Oh, boy. Live 12. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've been using it for a couple months now. Pretty sick. Uh, and yeah, let's fucking go. So this is a new song. Let's see. Who's this by? Let's scroll up. New song. Fix my beat. Uh, da -da -da -da. I did, are these posting today? Where's new song? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's somewhere here anyway. Um, yeah, terrible beat. Chill out. Okay, here we go. Street Shaman. New song by Street Shaman. By the way, people submitting .als files, I will not open these. You need to submit the full project folder with the samples. So the zips, I'm looking for the zips. I'm looking for the dot, uh, what is it, Ableton bundle files. I'm looking for the dot .rar, dot .alp. Those are all great. Uh, .als does not work for me. All right, let's fucking go. New song. up that was very scary okay so that was a very uh clear obvious loop there jeez louise that was scary oh my god that's terrifying oh no Oh gosh. What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> oh boy. This is not making a whole lot of sense right now. Okay, we're going to need to do a little bit of work here because, all right, so it seems like we're going for kind of a dubstep type of thing. I'm hearing this, these floppy sounds. Is this it? Yeah, okay, well, I'm hearing some flop. Then we got these kind of really fucking loud stabs and then a, you know, a little kick snare drum beat. I like, so first off, these drums are totally not on the grid at all. Guys, I don't know how you're working this shit. You gotta get this thing on the grid. Jeez. All right, so let's start with that. Let's get this on the grid here. And then uh, it's just a kick snare loop. So I'll just loop that. Here we go. Okay, that's nice. Maybe uh, maybe this flopper could uh, also go right on the grid. That'd be nice. There we go. I have a nice little flop. Set one one here. Beautiful. That's a nice flop right there. Flopping all day, flopping all night. Okay, I think we are meaning to go up here. So let's do that. Let me turn this down. We're also clipping like crazy on the master. I'll turn that down as well. All right, this is not sounding good. Let me loop this. Yeah, there was a, some real aggressive beating to make that flop. That's nice though. Okay, all right, we're getting somewhere. And then we got whatever's going on here. Yeah, let's, let's mute that for a second. And then we got some sort of ambience also going on. Um, I don't know what this group is doing. I'm gonna ungroup all this. Okay. I mean, that's kind of nice. Let's see what, what key this is in. I think it's in F, maybe. 
All right, so. Cool, so I think that's actually in the key of B. All right, so let's get this flopping action uh, up to B here. That's a lot better. Wow. <laughs> I don't know about that F there, but we'll we'll work with it. Okay, so we're already in a much better position here. The flops actually make sense. Is it Skrillex beat? That's correct. It is 100% Skrillex beat. You got me. Um, let's see. Looks like we're using all this stuff later. Uh, let me just group all this together. And we'll just uh, put Duck Buddy on there. Nice. Gotta love me some duck. Some duck confit. Where's that cake? There you go. Actually, let me just do both. Let me just do the whole thing. That's great. That's wonderful right there. Is there any processing on this? I don't think we need any of this. All right. Same thing with the kick, no processing, that's great. All right, let's see what we can do about this bass sound. Whoa, okay, that's terrifying. So what is controlling the movement here? So we got this envelope. Let me turn this off. All right, so there seems to be some looping action here. Uh, it's on 12. And we got this. I see. All right. <laughs> okay, so the saturator is really bringing that out there. Maybe let's turn up the decay here. All right, that's nice. Uh, maybe we could uh, turn this into a true FM situation here. What the fuck? Okay, let's turn this up. Uh, that's not really doing it. Uh, let me get rid of this automation. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to improve this. For some reason, this course thing isn't quite doing what I want it to. Oh, you know what? It's probably because it's not doing the loop. All right, so let's turn the loop on. We'll do 12th notes. There we go. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. That's wild. Ooh. So I, want, I have no idea why it's switching halfway through there. Maybe there's some automation going on here. Nope. Is it just the oscillators are going out of phase with each other? I really don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you know what? I see. It's volume velocity. Okay, so let's turn the velocity sensitivity on all this shit off. There we go. Cool, and then let's actually use a live 12 new feature. It's called Roar. It's like this multi-band saturation processing type situation. So that's pretty cool. 
And yeah, you can do multiband. Look at all this shit. This is insane. So we could even, let's see, we could even map an LFO to the frequency here of, L, of uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's do half notes. So that's pretty insane. And we can try different of these shapers here. And we can even do, let's do multiband here. Sick. Uh, we could do comb filtering. So we just took this sound and transformed it into that. So let's hear that in the mix. All right, that's, that's all right. That's all right. We can make that better. Let's put the fat rack on there. Yeah. Is Live 12 worth the update so far? 100%, fellas. This shit's sick. But, you know, you got to you gotta decide for yourselves, you know? You just don't listen to little old me. You know, you do... You, you do you, you know? Ooh. I kind of like those pauses. Virtual Riot, watch out. I'm making you unemployed. kind of cool I like this let's try something with that yeah so let's automate the filter cutoff in operator to kind of do this little sweep up effect Yeah, that's cool. And then maybe a little bit of chorus just for a little bit of width. And then maybe let's tweak this a little bit. Just too aggressive. I just wish it was cleaner. Whoa.
that's kind of fun. So yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of potential with this roar thing. I've been digging it a lot. Yeah, sweet. And then we have these kind of funny plinkity dinkity sounds and we want to put that in key somehow. So um, in terms of how to do that, let's see. First off, let me turn these arrow things off. Okay, I see. It's the same sound as this but just more aggressive. So I was even thinking we could do the same rhythm as this bass. So that would be 16th notes, I believe. Is that right? No, it would be, it would need to be 12th notes, but unfortunately you still can't do triplets with this preserve transients thing. So that's kind of annoying, but you know, another workaround here is we just do it with auto pan. So let me get auto pain, auto pan more like auto pain to use. Whoops. Uh, here we go. And then we will do the sawtooth shape. Let's change it to 12th notes. And bada bing, bada boom. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh. And let's have it do the same pauses as my main bass. So if we move this up, we can just create a pause there, pause there, pause there. And here we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, let me an answer some questions here. When is live 12 out? Yep, beginning of next year. Comb filter the synth, nice. You know, somebody said rhythm. I couldn't agree more. Trying to figure out what's creating most of that distortion. Mm, maybe it's. Let me turn this roar thing off. Maybe it's better without the roar, honestly. like a little bit of the roar and yeah That's cool. And then let's move on to the next section here. Holy guacamole, we got these little chops here. Let's move them over to this drop portion. Whoa. And then maybe there's a bunch of reverb, like a crazy amount and a bunch of effects that I don't have. That's okay. Um, but uh, this is not making any audio. That's unfortunate. Let's take it out of the group. That's terrifying. Okay, so maybe we take all the reverb and stuff off of that, unless it's built in, baked into the audio. Whoa, why don't we just do that? I'll just copy that over. And then just Get a different bass sound for that last little chop here. Uh, are these all the same? Yes, they are, but 
We also got this. Sure. Let's move that over. Paste it here. Holy guacamole. Turn warping off. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got this pad here let's use the pad that's in a completely the wrong key this is in d we are in b sheesh um minus three one two three is that gonna be right that sounds totally wrong um Okay, I feel like that's pretty cool. And then we have this section here, which is completely different <laughs> from that first half. Okay, we're going double time. Yeah, this does not make any sense with the first half. Holy shit. Uh, no, Ableton does not have any AI in it. Um, well, it has the actually similar sound search. So for example, I could go to this sound and hit show in browser. Oh, never mind. Looks like there's no content because I didn't save this. There we go. Let's save it. New song project replace. So now it should appear show in browser. Yes. Um, show in browser again. Nope. Whatever. Anyways, if you have a sample, you could search similar sounds like this, and then I can get a bunch of really similar sounds to that, which is crazy. Or like I could search neurobase. Here's a neurobase I made. Let's see what other. Yeah. Maybe search something similar to that. Or I could search pretty chord. Or pretty sure like that. And then if I just get out of this pretty tab, I can just find a bunch of sounds that sound similar to it. So that's some, that's some kind of AI shit. No, the AI shit I was thinking of uh, trying out is actually just exporting this new song and then running it through this really cool AI tool called text to sample. So you can actually take what you got here and uh, just run it through here, highlight this whole shebang. And let me just make sure you guys can hear this. So I'll change the output to multi output device. All right. And let's continue it in the style of uh, Old Town Road. Um, no, I, I think I need to do genres like country rhythm meets Midwest emo meets deep purple. And then let's generate that. Oh boy, here we go. So yeah, I'm, I mean, basically all producers are going to be obsolete in like two months. So that's cool. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, okay, let's try this. Okay. That wasn't really any of the things I described, but it was a cool little, cool little idea. Let's actually generate a bit longer. Yeah, maybe like five seconds and do uh death metal simple i feel like i could do that pretty easily and we'll see where that goes um in the meantime i'm going to save this you know i had a lot of fun with this one but i think it's time to move on let's move on to the next project that you guys submitted the next up we got chill out um okay looks like these are some stems here 
Uh, it's setting 100 BPM. I don't know if that's actually accurate, but let's just try it. Shout out Street Shaman for submitting that one. Thank you so much. And let's bring these stems into Ableton. And we'll work with some stems this time. That's pretty cool. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try it again. All right. So while that loads, let's go back to text the sample, see what we got here. <laughs> okay, that was starting to kind of get metally towards the end there. Let's hear that again. Okay, yeah. This could use some work, but it's a cool little neat tool and it's free. Text to sample, I, I dig that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's nice. Zoom in on all the waveforms. Yeah, no, I, you're right, Digi Dan. I overestimated how good these AIs are. It turns out, yeah, we're going to have at least three more months to have jobs before, you know, go the way of the fax machine. Okay, so whoever made this is just showing off. Because this is already a perfectly fine beat. There's really nothing that needs to be fixed here. Sounds pretty sick, honestly. I guess we could run the whole thing through Roar. <laughs> See what that does. Or you know what we could do? We could uh, just resample this whole thing. Let's try that real quick. Um. All right, so we got this resample. There's a new granulator. It's called Granulator 3, and it's really cool. Uh, let's drop this in there and see what happens. Ooh. Let's do cloud. Yeah, let's record ourselves doing that because that sounded pretty sick. So I'll just mute all this stuff and I'll arm this again. Yep. 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 And yeah, let's do it. was enough stuff and then honestly the drums in this track are already pretty fucking sick so what if we just use that 
Uh, let's figure out the BPM here. More from here straight. Should be good, hopefully. 96. All right. Yeah, that's tight. Uh, let's bring it up and take this piece. And I feel like we're going to need like really heavy side chain on this and OTT. So let's get the compressor there. Side chain from, let's just call this drums. Drums, kick, low end. Yeah. We're gonna need to compress the shit out of these drums. Let's put Roar on there. That sounds nice. Yeah, that sounds nice. Dig that. Let's move that over here. Let's slow it down a bit. Let's do repitch. Complex. Yeah, that's nice. Do a little chop there. Put it up an octave. anything else here oh that's nice definitely we're gonna use that let's bring it into let's just copy all these effects fuck it let's just group it put it on the group Questions. Uh, does Roar have any kind of transient shaping? It does not. Sorry. Um, yeah. Sick. Let's just actually stretch this one out. All right, so let's figure out what key we're in. Um, let's add a baseline. Let's actually, yeah, let's generate a baseline. Yeah, all right. 
Yeah, let's uh, so check this out. Um, we can shorten this, and uh, so we're in the key of A minor. So let's change the scale here to A minor, which I guess is the same thing as C major. And then we can uh, let's try doing connect, and then we could just add a bunch of these <laughs> notes uh, in between these two. Let's make this a bit more of a visible sound. Um, I'll just do, let's see, will this crash? Let's try it. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, let's just make something in drift real quick. Yeah, okay. Envelope, turn it up. Sick. Nice, easy. Uh, I really want to generate some stuff here. So maybe I just need to add two notes there. And then, yeah, we can connect those two, make them longer, make them denser. Let's try that. Yeah, I didn't have to write any of that shit. Isn't that sick? Yeah, and then we could do the same thing for chords. So check this out. I can just take this whole thing reduce it back to DNA here and then yeah I can just generate uh, well Ableton called it stacks but you know whatever so the first chord is D so I can generate a fucking D minor chord there at the beginning and I can change it to a D minor 7 isn't that fucking sick uh, let's do I guess we'll do piano let's do upright piano here up an octave. I guess we can change that here, right? So D3. Yeah. Shorten it a little bit. And then this one we wanted to be an A, right? So whoops. Looks like it generated another chord there for me. Yeah, I think they're still working out the kinks with this uh, chord generation feature. Let's uh, just delete the chords and we'll take it back to, what was it, D3? And then we want two chords, right? So first chord was D, second chord was A, right? And then we can add more notes. Here we go. Okay, I love how people are giving me unsolicited hair advice. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> I have gone bald in the past. I will likely do it again, don't you worry. For now, I hope my uh, receding hairline doesn't offend you too much. If it does, I'm sorry. Should have uh, put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Imagine if I was a girl, you know? Think of how much hate I would fucking be getting on the daily for how I look on the internet if I was a fucking girl. God damn. <laughs> All right, let's invert this. Um, yeah, okay, let's, you know what? Let's change up the pattern here. So let's do, um, hmm. Oh, check this out, this is sick. You can highlight all the notes and just Strum it. That's nice. And then uh, maybe what we could do is, well, let's quantize it. Maybe let's try that. Quantize? 
No, I don't really want to quantize it. I want to add some more rhythm to it. Um, can we do it on rhythm here? Will that work? Whoa, no. Let's try it again. Nope, that generates new notes. I'm trying to like see if I can generate a cool rhythm for this. Span, time warp. Let's try span. Okay, that just changes. Well, that's kind of cool, but... Hmm. All right, how about this? We do this, and we uh, chop notes on the grid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then we can randomize the velocity, right? So. See, you don't need to play an instrument. You don't need to learn shit anymore. You just let the computer do it. Maybe a little bit of reverb. Okay, I think we're cool with this one. I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, yeah, let's do a new song. New, new song. Gavin, new song. And yeah, let's do one more. So, um, we got Chill Out. All right, this one's looking promising. Terrible beat for Underbelly. Let's open this bad boy up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think this is going to be good. Whoa. That no, was not good. Let's hear this. Mm. This is fucking sexy. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that was tight. So the beats and the bass are very sexy. I just think it needs some sexy piano on there as well. I kind of want to just play over this. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Let's get the um, let's get the lounge lizard going. And uh, yeah, let's fuck. All right. on that something like that all right let's find a part where it doesn't drop out like that maybe over here Alright, let's 
fuck on that. I like that. Yeah, it's sexy. It was pretty sexy. Um, shimmer? Nah. Let's do the other one. Perfect. Yeah. That's that's calm right there. Yep. Maybe we can. some sexy guitar going that's nice that's nice indeed but I need some sexy reverb it needs all this shit basically uh don't don't out don't bro maybe with some pedal there break make it a little brighter maybe some amp let's try amp makes it worse Get a different guitar tone, maybe. Oh. Nope. Ooh, that's nice. And then maybe let's make this one muted. that kind of reverse symbol. There we go. There, let's duplicate it out. There we go. Shot a baby. Where's that bass at? 
There we go. Let's take that out of the group here. I think we just need to duck the shit out of all that. Where's that kick? Uh, come on, baby. Kick, where you at? There we go. Kick. There we go. Playing the right note. What the fuck? Tuner? Let's put a tuner on here. Oh, it's like it's like way out of tune. <laughs> okay. Tune it up. There we go. all right cool well, that was fun you guys thanks so much for coming through hope you had a blast um yeah thank you everyone who submitted their beats for me to fix up pretty good submissions this time i was honestly impressed and uh yeah live 12 pretty fucking sick um for those of you who want some more sweet, sexy vibes in their life, uh, I put out a track last week exclusively on Audius. It's called Nothing, Feet Michael Bruner. It's a pretty sick track. And if you want, you could even support me by purchasing the track for one whole dollar, an entire dollar, guys. So I know money is tight. Don't worry about it. If you can't pay, it's all good. I've got the full track on YouTube, but... Yeah, if you want to support and uh, check out the track, it sounds pretty sick. Play it for a bit. Um, come on, Audius. There we go. Fast forward. Oh, baby. Yeah, so it's sensual, it's sexy, it's in your face. Uh, it's a gentle tap on the wrist. You're doing great. All right. Take it easy, guys. Hope you have a good week. Peace.